Welcome to our tutorial on building a simple chatbot using Dialogflow, a Google AI platform that provides a natural language understanding interface for creating conversational agents. Before we start, you'll need a Google account, basic understanding of programming, and basic knowledge of JSON. Let's start the video. Open your Chrome browser and search Google Cloud Console and open this website. After that, you will see Google Cloud homepage. Just click on Console icon. Click on API Services. This is all API Services homepage. We need to build a project for our chatbot. Just click on My First Project and click on New Project. Type your project name. If you want to give some location name, then you just click on Browse and search your location name. After that, just click on Create button. Your project will create in one or two seconds. Go to left section and click on Library. Scroll down and find Dialogflow API. Click on that. Here you will see Enable option. Just click on Enabled button. Here's we are successfully enabled the Dialogflow API. Open your Chrome browser and search for Dialogflow Console. Open this website. You will then reach the Dialogflow Console homepage. Click on Create Agent and name your agent. After that, click on Create button. Here we have successfully created an agent. Now we need to create intent. Click on the Create Intent button to create an intent. Name your intention as Welcome Intention. Go to Training Phrases and add some phrases like Hello, Hi, Hey There and more if you want. Then click Responses and add some responses like Hello, how can I help you today? If you want to add more responses, simply click on the Add Resource option. Then save your intent, just click on Save button. Your welcome intent has now been successfully saved. Now we have to make another intention. To create another intention, just click on this plus icon. Name your intent Fallback Intent and add this response to the Responses section. I don't understand this. Can you please rephrase this? Here you can add more responses like this. Click on Save button after successfully adding your responses. Here your fallback intent has been successfully saved. Test your agent using the simulator. Copy the iframe code and embed it in your HTML file. This is our Dialogflow API client ID. Select this ID and copy it. Here's an example of how to embed the iframe code in your HTML file. Replace your agent ID with your actual Dialogflow agent ID and pest you Dialogflow agent ID here. If you just want to practice the chatbot, the link to the full code is in the description. Let's run your code and see the result. This is the output of your code. So let's test your chatbot and ask some questions. Type hello here and click on enter button. Here is the answer of your welcome intent. Let's try another. Type hi and click enter button. Your welcome intent will be answer this. Let's see what our fallback intent will answer. Type a different question here like, what can you do for me? And click enter. Here is the answer of your fallback intent. Type hey and click enter. Here is the result. Now all your intentions are working fine. Add some more training phrases and resources for best results. Host your web page on platforms like GitHub Pages or Netlify and share the URL with your users to let them interact with your chatbot. To enhance your chatbot, explore advanced customizations like context management for managing conversation flows, entity extraction for structured data, and fulfillment for connecting with external services. For effective chatbot performance, ensure you have diverse training phrases. Regularly test your agent and gather user feedback to improve responses. Congratulations! You've built a basic chatbot using Dialogflow. You can now extend its functionality by adding more intents and integrating with other services. Here are some useful links to help you further. Google Cloud Console, Dialogflow Console, Dialogflow Documentation, GitHub Pages, and Netlify. By following this guide, you have created a basic chatbot using Dialogflow and integrated it into a web application. This chatbot can greet users and handle fallback responses. You can extend its functionality by adding more intents 
contexts, and integrating with external services. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Follow us on social media for the latest updates and resources.